Welcome back to our Israel series, and today we've got a brand new place for you called Tabga. This is a really interesting location, but it's kind of too small to do a full video on. So we're just going to be doing a live walkthrough just like this, and I'll be talking over it to show you exactly what's going on in this location. Now, we've done these live walkthroughs pretty much at every location that we went to in Israel. So if you want to see more of these live walkthroughs with some of my commentary and breaking it down a little bit more, then you can check that out over on snipesupport.com. This is where you can support us to keep on making videos like this and we can show you more and more behind the scenes content extra content and different things like that so thank you so much for those that support us over there and if you want to go there there's a link down in the description down below so let's get into this i'll let you experience some of the walkthrough just by yourselves and then i'll do some commentary over it and past me will actually talk in this video as well just a little bit So right here, you kind of see this quite often in a lot of these different locations. This is a grindstone for either olives or for wheat, depending on what they're using it for there. This map here shows you kind of where we are in the Galilee area. That's the Sea of Galilee. And then we're to the northwest here. This is directly down the road from Capernaum, like less than a five minute drive. Um, it's right down the street. Uh, and so this is right nearby where Jesus would have done all of his ministry in that area. What's here? This is basically where they think that Jesus did the miracle of the multiplication. Um, but it's like, a, I would say this is like a sea site. Like, it's like, eh, probably not. <laughs> probably not, but uh, it does have an interesting history. <clears throat> like, basically they're saying, like, first century, Jesus was definitely here. He did all these things. But nobody really knew it until the 4th century, and then they said this was the rock where the bread was placed, and <laughs> stuff like that. So it's a, I would say it's a sea site of like, I, I don't know, they kind of just made a church here later on. Um, and there's not really any huge evidence, you know. Um, so, yeah. So what else is there to look at? Inside, there's like the mosaic and stuff uh, in the church. So basically, you can see... There's this first church, which was in the 4th century, then later on the second church was in the 5th century, and then they kept on building upon it, and then in the 30s, 1930, there's a third church. Um, so the mosaic floors are protected by these other buildings on top, so you can see like how things are being built up on one another there. Like this mosaic that's really famous, this one, which we're going to go see, that wasn't made until 6th century. Um, yeah. So these are actually not, these are the German Benedictine monks here, not the uh, Franciscans. So that's the original. That's when it was excavated. This is the original as well. But you said that that wasn't made till the 6th century. Correct. Yeah, this wasn't made till the 6th century. So that wasn't made until the 6th century. Correct, but that's when it was being excavated in the 30s. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So if you didn't catch what we were talking about there, basically this is a site that happened later on there's a pretty small chance that this is actually where jesus did the miracle of multiplication known as the feeding of the five thousand in the bible um, obviously it could be we're in israel we're on the sea of galilee like it's right here it happened around here somewhere but to know the exact location to know the exact rock all that kind of stuff is kind of hard to say vanessa is going to go into the church here in just a second and i'll kind of show you uh, where this mosaic is that's really really famous i'll input a picture here as well as where the rock is that they say that the bread was placed when Jesus was doing the multiplication again this is kind of like do we really know no there's no way to verify all these things but um, it is cool to see and it is cool to be in this place in general
As with all churches, when you enter them in Israel, whether there's people there or not, they expect you to be quiet and be reverent. Uh, these are holy places and especially if there's a holy site associated with it so even though there's nobody in here we're trying to be quiet and be respectful as you always should oftentimes they'll have pamphlets like this as well uh, in multiple different languages for you to pick up and to check out if you want to know more information about the location that you're at So they have it kind of chained off here, but if you look over to the left, there's a white table, and underneath that is the rock where they say that the miracle of the multiplication happened. So right here is where all the people were gathered, listening to Jesus teach, and this is where the multiplication happened, where he actually fed them. Uh, obviously, we're not sure if this is actually the place. However, this is the rock that they say it is. You'll see in this close-up picture that there's actually some olive oil there as well. You can see the mosaic right in front of it, which is a very famous mosaic of the original floor here from like like the sixth century and so you can see the two fish and then the basket filled with five loaves there uh, to show the multiplication One thing that I will say is it was always really sad to go around to all these different locations and see how few people were here, even to the point that all of these shops, which are normally bustling with people, buying things, uh, and helping to support these locations, were just completely empty. Uh, these shops had nobody in them. In fact, they were completely closed. Uh, I'm sure you would have to call ahead of time even to get access to them. Uh, this happened at pretty much every location we were at that normally has a gift shop or different things like that. Almost all of them were closed, um, just a completely different uh, look as to what we're used to seeing. And that's pretty much it for the Church of the Multiplication here in Tabka. Now, there was a couple more places that we wanted to try to go here in the Galilee area, but we had some issues with them. For example, Capernaum, they had a really hard time letting us film there and do different things there. So we will show you something because they allowed us to take pictures, but we've got to figure out what that video is going to be like. And that will be our last video in the Galilee area. Next, after that, we'll be heading south toward some of the other locations in Israel. And trust me, you're not going to want to miss those episodes. So hold tight and we'll get there in just a few weeks. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.